as well so i conclude thank you very much sir thank you honorable member sri p ravindranath kumar ji so thank you for the opportunity sir so i would like to support the bill sir first uh, let me first first of all take the opportunity to appreciate our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji for transforming our nation as the global leader through several significant strategic initiatives thanks to the vision and leadership of our prime minister india is now playing a active role in being a constructive contributor in the efforts to create an international order through reformed multi lateralism and human centric globalization and also i wish to appreciate our honorable external affairs minister sri jay sangar ji whose guidance and efforts are helping india secure improved bilateral relations and regional stability sir the influence of online media was not that rampant in 2005 when this bill was adopted now on youtube or dark web even a teenager can manufacture a wmd sitting on the convenience of their home instructed by an insane terrorist or even in a hostile nation and financed by another in a different nation so the web of terror financing has expanded manifold and it is important that we should protect our nation from such insane terror or military attacks sir the united nations secretary general antonio gutras in april 2020 has warned that the pandemic had has revived the specter of bioterrorism sir he mentioned in his quote the weaknesses and lack of preparedness exposed by this pandemic provide a window on to how a bio terrorist terrorist attack might unfold sir preparation is the key we cannot complacent and sir we cannot be prepared alone sir misuse of wmd leading to incident like bioterrorism is a global issue sir india under the leadership of prime minister sri narendra modi ji certainly has reason to be proud of its achievement however in the regional contest india's pride unfortunately is also neighbors envy sir in 2008 when the upa government was in power we saw a massive and coordinated terror attack in mumbai this was not an attack carried at the borders this happened well within our boundaries at the heart of our commercial capital of course some attackers were neutralized and some were put behind bars for so 2 minutes give import but what about those who financed them uh, should be believe that they came within our boundaries without the support of insiders sir it means there is a well oiled financial network functioning within our nation and across as well so sir i support this bill in anticipation that this terror financing network will be wiped off our country as well as the across the border and and suggest our honorable minister Please we must go. encourage the use of technological innovation and policies to improve our counter proliferation proliferation efforts we must be prepared to compact the use of new mechanism Please of convert. financing these weapons like Thank the you. use of blockchain uh, technology which supports cryptocurrencies like bit bitcoin or online crowd financing uh, website finally i conclude sir this under the leadership of our prime minister our government ensure that so to ensure that periodic assessment of this enactment so that we can ensure the proper functioning yes. of our multiple agencies yes. engaged in this sphere i support this bill Thank on behalf you. of my party Thank honorable you. member shri anwan beniwal ji